The traveling route is now completed. You may remember we arrived at Barcelona by plane and there starts our ship cruise through the Mediterranean Sea and the first harbor we will stop is at Palma de Mallorca, then we go to Ibiza and so on our cruise through the whole Mediterranean Sea until finally we arrive again at Barcelona. At every harbor I have placed a stopover point and the rest of the route I have defined with supporting points so that we have a nice curvy trip through the Mediterranean Sea. At every stopover point I have turned the use arrival time on and I have set the arrival time for example here at Palma de Mallorca to 10 seconds and I have set also a pause time of 2 seconds. In the project settings you can see, you remember we have we set the calculation of time to relative time. So this means that our ship needs 10 seconds to go from Barcelona to Palma de Mallorca in our animation. And here in the arrival time you can adjust very easily the amount of time needed for our ship. So for example if you would like to speak some additional information during this part of the route then you can adjust here very easily the time that you will need to, sp to give all those informations. And now at every harbor of course we would like to insert our own video material and therefore I will use a placeholder just as we did it at Barcelona but this time I will use a slightly different method. Again I will use a picture object but this time a free placeable picture object I'm at the stopover point of Mallorca. I select objects and this time we would like a free placeable object. So I select this icon here and this time I select image object static. Static images are not placed on the map of Vasco da Gama. They are placed on screen. That means they stay at their position regardless of the movement of the planet in the animation. Just like a channel logo type that you normally see in the upper left or upper right corner. So I add a new object and I will choose as a picture our already known green box full HD TIFF file. This instantly fills the whole screen. This is normal and desired because the size is set by default to 100%. If you use this green box picture then you can use a chroma key effect in your video editing program to show your own video material. But as an alternative you can use of course a picture of the harbor of Mallorca or you can use the first frame of the video clip you like to show at this time and then in your editing program you do a transition to the whole clip you would like to show. So there are many ways to realize these transitions. In this example I will use this green box picture and since I will use this green box picture in every harbor so at several stopover points I will make use of the possibility to change the name of the object Normally by default Vasco da Gama s fills in here the name of the of the image file but I will delete this one and I will name it Mallorca so that later on in this menu we can tell which image object belongs to which harbor. The size of the picture is set by default to 100%. This is exactly what we need and important is the position it is set by default to horizontal and vertical 50% that means that the image is centered in the screen. This is very important so that our image covers the whole screen. So we will leave this untouched. We don't use the view or the effects but we need of course a fade effect because we need to fade in our picture otherwise it would be visible during the whole animation and so we turn on the fade in effect. I will select a smooth fade. The fade in time is set by default to one second. This is okay. 
and our, of course our picture has to disappear when we leave the harbor so I will select here smooth fade as well but the fade out time I will set to zero seconds so that this occurs really fast important is that the picture is simply turned off and we need a stop time of let's say two seconds this gives us enough time later on in our video editing program to do the cuts and the transitions and so on although we have defined now the smooth fade effect for fading in and for fading out they won't be visible they won't work right now for a very simple reason Vasco da Gama has no idea when to do the fade in or the fade out so Vasco da Gama needs some information at what time point it should do the fade in and we can tell Vasco da Gama when to do it by linking this object to a stop over point remember in our root editor we are at the stop over point of Mallorca and now I will click here the set button this is the information that now we will link this object to the stop over point that we are currently on I accept with OK and now this object this picture is linked to the stop over point of Mallorca and now Vasco da Gama knows the exact time when it has to show the picture so now we can have a look at the preview and now I will use here the slider at the bottom of the window to slide through our animation we don't have to see the first part and here starts our ship cruise and now I will drag slowly and when we reach here Mallorca then you can see the fade in effect the picture stays for two seconds and it disappears instantly when we leave the harbor so this is pretty perfect I will cancel the preview now that we have correctly defined the fade in and the fade out effect of our picture object we still see it constantly on screen and this is because all static objects are always visible in the editor not in the final animation not in the preview window but in the editor they are always visible of course we can use the aid to navigation with one click on this button here all objects are instantly switched off they are still defined they will appear in the preview and the w they will appear in the final animation but in the editor now they aren't visible so this is the first method to avoid having the static images always visible there is a second one maybe a little bit more elegant this consists in changing the size of the picture objects down to the minimum value of one percent so I can turn the objects again on here in the aid to navigation and now I will set the size of the picture object you can see how it becomes smaller and now I have set it to the minimum value of 1% and this gives me now the possibility to see all the other objects and work as normal the only thing I have to remember is that at the end of the project at the final stage I have to jump through all the placeholder objects and set their size again to 100% so now I will jump to the next harbor Ibiza and here I will do exactly the same I will add a new object again I will select the same picture this time I change the name to Ibiza the size I will set directly to 1% I will link it directly to the stop over point of Ibiza the fade in effect smooth fade fade out effect smooth fade but fade out time zero and a stop time of two seconds 
and that's it. If we would like to check it in the preview window, we have to remember to set up the size to 100%. I will do it for this moment. 100% and I will switch to the Mallorca object. Now you can see here in the menu that this works perfectly. I select Mallorca and now I set the size up to 100% as well. And now we can jump to the preview window and make the check. We arrive with the train. Here comes the first placeholder at Barcelona. Now we take the ship to Mallorca. Now we leave Mallorca and when we reach Ibiza the fade in effect for the next placeholder object and then we will go on with our ship cruise. I will cancel this here. To make editing possible I will set down the size of the placeholders to 1%. Uh, I failed doing it at Mallorca. Okay, so now you got the overall idea. A placeholder at every stop over point where you would like to show your own video material. And if you use the green placeholder or a photography or the first frame, the first image of your video material, it's totally up to you. Now you have different methods how to do the things and that's the important part.